find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you a piece of software called Media Converter. It's a free piece of software that allows you to use your AVCHD footage with something like Final Cut, which doesn't accept those MTS files natively. Now, um, it's pretty hard to find on Google because of its name. So uh, I'll have a link below to this page where you download the software itself and then a link to this page where you download the preset. And uh, the one I'll be showing you today is rewrap AVCHD for QuickTime uncompressed audio. And there is a version without audio as well in case that's what works for you. So we'll download these two here. That's the download button there. And uh, once that's downloaded, we'll go to our downloads folder. Double click that, it's just a zip file. Copy that uh, folder into your applications um, folder, just like you would any other piece of software on a Mac. So there we go, that's uh, sitting here in our applications folder. And then the second file that we downloaded, which is called rewrap AVCHD, we'll double click that. And that will, that right now is telling me that I already have it here, so that's fine. But um, if that's giving you an error, which it might do on Mountain Lion, it might say you don't have permission to do this, then what you want to do is you go to your main hard drive, the one that your system is installed on. For me, that's called the Mountain Lion here. And we'll go into Library, and then we'll right-click Application Support, and we'll select Get Info. Now, I've already done this, but basically we click this little lock, enter the password, and then you select your username here, for me that's called admin, and that would say read only. So we'll change that to read and write. Now, I'm assuming this is pretty safe to do. I've not had any trouble with it, but um, I'm not some sort of Mac operating system expert, so uh, I'm simply assuming it's fine. Then uh, we can close that, and we'll go into somewhere where we want to get um, footage converted. So here is... Um, just a memory card where I have uh, shots and footage. Normally you'd have a bunch of extra files here and you'd select private. Now, if you're in Mountain Lion, you might have something like this where it's not a folder and you need to right click it and press show package contents. And um, that's basically because Mountain Lion wants to give you these files more easily so you can double click it to view those videos. But uh, we want to actually get to the files. So we'll show package contents, do that again with what's beneath that press that again and then here we go into stream that's where our files are so these are the MTS files that Final Cut has problems with and we'll literally uh, we'll take these and drag them onto um, media converter now I have media converter here uh, you literally just go from your applications from where media converter is and you just drag it up there and then that gives you a nice shortcut to open it and to drag files onto it from wherever you are in your um, files and now what we want to do in Media Converter, uh, this is what it looks like. We'll uh, press Preferences. And um, if we've already got this here, this uh, preset that we want to use, then we'll make sure that that is selected because generally you will just have the first one selected until you change it and then that will stay selected uh, until you change it. Even if you close the software, that'll stay like that, which is great because you can just drag files onto there. Now in the preferences, we can uh, select where we want this to go. And uh, I've got it set to go to movies, so that's fine. And then um, that's all set up. So now we can just go to our MTS files and drag them onto there. And then as you can see, it's copying these files very quickly. And, um, and that's done. And now we can go to our movies folder. And that's it. And uh, these, um, let's see how big this file is. Uh, it's a video file and uh, 123 megabytes. So um, not not very tiny files. As you can see, it didn't have to sit there and convert them. It just uh, changed them to .mov. And now this will go into Final Cut without uh, any problems. We'll just um, show you that. And uh, that's basically it. It's a really, uh, well, a really easy way. I know it seems complicated, but once you've got it all set up, you literally just go into your stream folder, copy it to there, and that's done. And then it ends up in whichever folder you wanted to put it in. So for me, that's movies. And then um, here, if we uh, take these files right into Final Cut, and uh, that plays without any problem. So... Um, there you go. Just a, a quick tip for you. Hope that was uh, useful. 
Don't forget to check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe because I've got more cool stuff like this coming up soon. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.